too. What's up guys? Back with you on Technique Tuesday. This time we're gonna go over ankle dorsiflexion. All right, so that's our ability for our ankle to create a closed angle with our shin right here, which is, we need it, especially when we squat, all right? That's the prime movement that we need ankle dorsiflexion in. You'll see in someone that doesn't have very good ankle dorsiflexion, their shins are gonna be very vertical in the squat, which is probably gonna make their butt sit back like this, and they're either not gonna be able to get deep enough, they're in this awkward position where everything's not aligned, whereas when you got a little ankle dorsiflexion, you can sit in a much better straight down position. Quick fix to this, if you just hit this regularly, it's a nice little stretch. Grab yourself a band, it doesn't have to be super thick. Um, you also don't want a super thin band. I'm gonna get it right on the angle. I'm gonna walk out as far as I can. And then I'm gonna take a knee. I'm gonna take some kind of weighted object, it be a kettlebell, it be a dumbbell, it could be some kind of plate. I have a 10 kilogram plate right here. I'm gonna keep my heel down and just kind of let that weight sink my knee over my toe. So I'm sitting here, make sure I keep my heel down, kind of rock into it. And just really depends on how good your dorsiflexion is already, how much weight you want. So if our dorsiflexion is not very good, I probably want a little, little bit less weight because we're not trying to tear anything. It should be a nice, easy stretch. But I'll do this maybe 90 seconds, two minutes each side. Do it a couple times. I recommend doing it before or after your workout. It'll be great before to get your ankles warmed up, great after to help them get more flexible. So if you're dealing with ankle dorsiflexion issues, your ankle's been bothering you, try that little piece out. Thanks for watching.